Okay, now we're in round six. The Great Escape Part 2 of Worst Heroes and Villains Forever. So, let's get going. So, we started with the first fight. We got, um, Wallace and Gromit versus Clockwork de Lorange and Dr. Loop. Dr. Loop, I mean. We see Wallace and Gromit are just doing their, uh, casualty, you know, their usual things at, at Wallaby Street. Time to put on our TV, Gromit. Until the, yeah, they're not know that they're being spotted by Dr. Loeb and, uh, Clockwork de Lorange. Oh, I gotta put my volume up. Here we go. Yeah, I want to gain their sources from the duo. Uh, stealing some technologies, I see. And looks like Roman notices there's an android in their house. Yeah, I'd be like, what the heck, too. Oh, poor Grummet. I say, was that an earthquake, Grummet? I don't even what Wallace would be asking. Oh, now he's on that mechanical trousers. Hey, I'm back on this again. Oh dear. Oh. Although it is interesting seeing Wallace and Gromit in there, I will admit it. So I guess Dr. Lope and Clockwork de Lorange win. The next fight is, uh, Biker Mice from Mars. Huh, the same name from the TV show. I guess that's their names also. Versus the... Stink Brothers? So these... Three wolves, or was it a pack of wolves? A trio of rough wolves known as the Stink Brothers wants to challenge the Biker Mice from Mars. Okay, one question. What kind of game would be called the Stink Brothers? That is the most bizarre name I could ever... I mean, imagine they'd be called We're the Dio Brothers, or P.U. Brothers. Wait, we're the threatening game known as the P.U. What, because you guys stink? What? No, it just... Something like that. It'd just be weird. What cartoon are the Stink Brothers from, anyway? Aw, oh, there's Wallace. Didn't expect him to be in this one. I mean, in the after the first fight, that is. Man, there's a crash going on. Now the biker bites from Mars win. Next fight is Pajama Sam versus... I am me. Just a rough song reference. So, Pajama Max is returning this librarian comic book, and he was getting from the library at the middle of the night for some reason. But then it turns out it's. He runs into this bookworm hater. I am me. Oh, look what clever children! See them study, watch them learn. I just want to do the reference of that song. It's just so catchy to hear that. I'll leave the link down below for the song. And uh, now Pajama Sam is trapped in the labyrinth. By I Am Mean. I guess he's a character that really hates learning that much. Seeing kids being smart. Although I did look at the, the equivalent. The... I think I Am Mean is actually the equivalent of the Coachman from Pinocchio. I guess I can see that. I Am Mean with the next fight is the... Actually... This is the battle at the mechanic's base. Uh, Dr. Forrester, TV Frank... And who else was it? Oh yeah, that's it. Margaret Thatcher. I know the third one. 
or about the taxes. How did I go again? I'm so bad at this. Our plan is to release a monster as their next plan to sabotage Danner's base and Nerve's relationship. Uh... Well, the Gardner mechanics and former Cosmo worker Mike Nelson are full at work. I don't know much about these characters that much. I think I might recognize them. I haven't seen it yet, but I think it's a Mystery Science Theater 3000. What the, the monster that Margaret Thatcher, TV Frank, and uh, that. Dr. Forrester have released is that B-movie monster. I think it's a very obscure horror movie. What was it? What did they call it again? I want... I, oh, yeah, The Crawling Eye. Yeah, The Crawling Eye. Yeah, I noticed they're being attacked by that crawling eye. Hello. Rare name to call it, though, but it is terrifying. Yeesh. Oh, and I think this guy is supposed to be, like, the Ultra Man or something. I don't want to get that mixed up. Yeah, I think he's gonna go out and save the day, of course. Uh, face to face with Marcus Thatcher and TV Frank. Sorry, there's not much. Oh, uh, she's gonna point a gun at her. It's like, how dare you, Missy? It's like, hold on a sec, I'm dealing with these. Gorilla mutant alien. Ah, oh, good to see that robo dude is still okay. Okay. Actually, I don't want to sound real. I thought she wanted to hold a sword for a minute. I don't know why. It just kind of could have flash moved. Oh yeah, good to see Misato. I think I saw her at the you know the back of her. Uh, yeah, there she is. There's Misato. Now I remember her name. What did they call him again? I didn't hear him with that loud echoey kind of thing. I'm supposed to hear that. Man, it's taking on that crawling eye. So I guess every Japanese show has the same style as Power Rangers, I guess. Huh, weird though. Uh, I think I'm going to stop right here, uh, so... Alright, good thing is everyone's okay, so see you guys in the next part of the video, the commentary.